Alright guys, Ben and Joe, aka Casper and Stop and Ape Codename Pizza and welcome to the second instalment of Wonder Weapon Wednesdays, the show where we explain everything that you need to know about your favourite Wonder Weapons. Now, last week it was all about the Ray Gun and because we're going to be doing this series in order of where you see him in the storyline in Zombies, this week is of course going to be the Wonder Waff DG2. We're also going to be talking about the Monkey Bomb as well, so I hope you enjoy this episode guys, sit back, relax and enjoy Wonder Weapon Wednesdays. So the first time we see the Wonder Waff DG2 is in Shinonuma. Now that's not the only map we get to use it in. In total, there's three maps. We have Shinonuma, we have Darice, and we also have Call of the Dead. Now you receive it in Call of the Dead by completing the Easter egg, and then any game you play after that, all you have to do is kill George Romero and you receive it once again. So the Wonder Waff DG2 was actually built at Doris and created by Edward Richtofen. Now we know this through quotes that Richtofen says when he gets the Wonder Waff DG2 out of the mystery box. Now the Wonder Waff DG2 was actually created in intention to be mass produced to give to the frontline troops to win the war. We know this through a radio message on Doris where Maxis goes on to explain that the early tests of the DG2 easily outperformed their expectations. We then go on to find out that this was all a lie. Now in Call of the Dead there's a radio where Rick Toffin states that Dr. Maxis doesn't want to move on with his plans of mass producing the DG2 as he promised. And Rick Toffin won't stand for this and he's not going to continue following Maxis' dream of an undead army. He also states that Maxis doesn't deserve his power. He does not know what to do with his power. Now that's possible hints of the Black Ops 2 storyline but that's another episode for another day so let's keep on track with the DG2. Now the Wonder Waff DG2 is actually powered by the Tesla bulbs on the left hand side of the gun. Now once it turns into its DG3 form after being packer punched it then starts being powered by element 115. Now the mass production of the DG3 never happened because the lack of element 115 that group 935 could retrieve. Now we know this through a radio that's on Doris where Maxis then states to get to the Nevada base to meet up with his American friends to get more of the element 115. So here's some short interesting facts about the Wonder Waff. In the community, the Wonder Waff is actually known as the Wonder Waffle. Now this is because of a few quotes that Tank Dempsey makes in Doris. Now the Wonder Waff DG3 JZ is the Pack-a-Punch version of the Wonder Waff. But where does the JZ come from? It's actually the initials of a Treyarch employee named Jimmy Zielinski. So we'll leave his Twitter page in the description. Make sure you click on there, send him a message and tell him that Codename Pizza have sent you. Now the final little interesting fact about the Wonder Waff before we move on to the Monkey Bomb is that Rick Toffin calls the Thunder Gun the DG3, showing that he must think that the Thunder Gun is a successor of the Wonder Waffer even though he created it. So the first time we actually get to see the Monkey Bomb guys is in Doris, and it also makes a reappearance in Kino de Totem 5, Shangri-La, Transit, Nuketown, Die Rise and also Buried. Now just like the Wonder Waff DG2 it was created by Edward Richtofen as shown on a computer at the main menu of Black Ops in the document from V. Bush. Now the Monkey Bomb's possibly made from a monkey that was bothering Richtofen during his experiments as heard on one of the radios on Call of the Dead. A backup to this theory can also be found in Rick Toffin's biography on World at War where it states that he has a collection of stuffed animals. So in the storyline guys, the monkey bomb is strongly hinted that it's one of Samantha Maxis's old toys that is now possessed. Now we know this through teleporting to Sam's room after packer punching on Kino de Toten and seeing the monkey bomb on top of her pillow on her bed. Now the monkey bomb doesn't have the bomb attached to it here, it actually has a basket with some colouring utensils in, so it's clearly a toy and not a bomb. Now the monkey bomb also says some quotes when it goes off, backing up the theory that it's Samantha Maxis's old toys. These quotes being, you're not Sam, and here I come, Sam. So guys, that's it for the second instalment of Wonder Weapon Wednesdays about the Wonder Waff DG2 and also the Monkey Bomb. If you enjoyed this episode, please leave a like and a comment about your favourite Wonder Weapon in the section below. And also subscribe to be the latest member of the Pizza Club. So thank you for watching, guys, and peace out. So for a little bit more codename pizza action in your day, make sure you click the annotations on the screen. Now over the left-hand side, we have Wonder Weapon Wednesdays from last week talking about the Ray Gun. And on the right-hand side, we have Myth Busting Mondays where we bust the myths at you guys. Leave in the comment section below. All you mobile users, links in the description. Peace out.